Hello everyone, my name is Diana Lindy. I'm a senior recruitment consultant here at Beaumont People. With me today, I have the lovely Sharon, um, a recruitment consultant, oddly enough, also from Beaumont People. Welcome to Ask Me Anything. And today we're having a 10 minute power session on issues and topics that we consider relevant today's, uh, to today's recruitment landscape. And Sharon, why don't you kick us off? What topic are we discussing today? Thanks, Diana. So today we are going to be talking about managing multiple job offers, how to handle it if you have a couple of different offers on the table at the same time. Well, that so, certainly is happening quite a bit recently, I can say. It, it definitely is. We're seeing more and more of it. Um, so I guess uh, the first point we'll start off with is some questions that you can ask yourself to help give you some clarity about the way to move forward. So the first question would be, does the company align with my personal values? Now, sometimes we know what they are and sometimes we're not so sure. And there's a number of online tools and quizzes that you can do to help you get some clarity around that. But some examples might be family. Does this job fit in with your family responsibilities or your life outside work? Um, does this company have good corporate social responsibility? Am I passionate about the environment or giving back to my community? And if so, does the company get involved in those things? Does the company act with integrity? If that's something that's really important to you, do they do what they say they're going to do? Does the company work collaboratively? Do they work together? Does do they have a really great team where they're all working towards the same goals and mission? Are they fun? Now, this is something we're really passionate about, Beaumont people, um, and we love to laugh and we love to have a social side. Is a social side really important to you? Do you want to have friends at work? Do you want to have get togethers outside of work? So that's also something to really consider. Have a look at which company offers the best benefits to me. Now, these aren't just salary and bonuses, which, of course, is, is really important to us. Even if we're not driven by money, we still need a certain amount to live. But also, does it offer a hybrid working environment? Something that we found coming out, hopefully, the other side of COVID is people are wanting that balance between working from the office and working from home a lot more. Um, do they offer fl flexible start and finish times? That might be something that's really important to you. How much holiday pay? How much personal pay do I get? Um, how many days compared to the other organisation? Is there career development? Is that something that's really important to you? Are you looking for a role where you just go in and do your job really well and then go home? Or are you looking for something that offers longer term career development? And if so, what career path is that? Does the manager that you're going to be working with have experience mentoring? Or are there people within the organisation that they can introduce you to for that mentoring process? Do I need to ask for another meeting with the hiring manager or perhaps the direct manager? Perhaps that could just be done over a coffee meeting or whether it might be something more formal. Could I have the opportunity to meet with the team if I haven't already done so? And are these people that I could see myself working with? Is the company somewhere I can see myself working for long term? Have I completed the Meaningful Work Profile Tool? Now, this is something that we offer at Beaumont, and it really helps to give you an idea about what creates meaningful work for you personally. And of course, that's going to be different for everybody. What is meaningful for me might not be meaningful for you, Diana. <laughs> Have I written a list of pros and cons? Um, this helps to give you a clear idea about what one company offers in comparison to the other company. And you may just find something that you didn't expect to be a bonus with one organization compared to the other. And have I spoken to somebody outside the organization, somebody impartial in terms of what you're looking at, but somebody who has a greater understanding of you as an individual, what creates meaning for you? Um, and that might be a friend, family member, an ex-colleague, somebody who can give you suggestions based on their knowledge and experience of you personally. Um, so there's some questions to consider and to ask yourself 
before moving forward with those offers. So back over to you, Diana. Well, Sharon, I know having fun is meaningful to both of us. So that's <laughs> at least one thing that sure we both is. have in common. <laughs> So the job search is also essentially a soul search we often find, but we do have to remember that there are some important questions to ask them, the other guys, the hiring manager and the recruiter. Hopefully you're working with a recruiter if you've got good taste. Um, so keep in mind that there are some questions that you should be asking externally as well that will help answer those internal questions that you have. One thing to keep in mind is not just asking the questions, but really assess when you are asking the questions, just the reaction to how they react. How willing are they to answer your questions? How willing are they to take your questions? Are they getting defensive? Are they not giving you the answers that you want? So it's not just about asking the questions themselves, but it's really also about assessing the reaction to those questions. No recruiter or hiring manager worth their salt will want you to accept a role if you have any reservations at all. So this can actually help you decide and, and be a decision maker if they become defensive or brush off your questions or don't seem supporting of that. I think as we go through a recruitment process, it's really telling of how the company and the culture operates internally. So pay attention to those signs. And sometimes that can help when you are juggling multiple job offers, like a lot of candidates are doing these days. Yeah. Something as well, just from a practical perspective, when you are managing competing job offers is timelines. So making sure that you know, when does the organization need your answer on their offer or contract by, you know, when do you need to give that answer by? If you're not sure, it's okay, by the way, to ask for a day or so to think about it. And, or if you're not sure, it's okay to ask about those things that you are still unsure about. So the important thing here, and this is something I often say to my candidates, we only want you to say yes, if you can hand on heart, say yes, I want this job. And if you can't, you need to listen to that. It doesn't mean it's not the right role, but it does mean that there are certain areas that you need to explore. So keep in mind when you're asking them those questions. Now, in terms of just a final piece of advice, I think we've covered a lot of practicalities um, so far um, in terms of hard questions to ask yourself and then um, throughout this process. But when you are going through the final stages and managing multiple job offers, be prepared for the questions that you'll be asked. Now, there's always a reason why we ask these questions. As a hiring manager or recruiter, we'll want to know things like, when do you need to make a decision? If you've asked that question earlier on. Has the contract been sent? Has it been signed? When do you need to sign it by? What's the other salaries on offer? Where are they based? Are they close to home? What other benefits are they offering? We're asking these questions not to put you on the spot, although I know it feels like you're being put on the spot when you're being asked that, because it helps us help you, as cliche as that sounds. This might allow us to share relevant information that we wouldn't have possibly have thought to tell, um, you know, earlier in the process. It can also ask us, you know, allow us to ask maybe for more money on your behalf, you know, for example. So the more information that we have is actually the better we help you and be prepared for those really specific detailed questions, but just understand the intention behind it because we always want to get the best outcome for everyone. And again, as you know, counterintuitive as it can feel to share information about other offers and opportunities, this is so important. Don't burn your bridges. This will actually allow you to feel less pressure, stress, and guilt while managing multiple job offers if you keep all of those recruiters or hiring managers in the loop as you go on. You know, if you have a final interview or references on a Friday and you don't have an interview until the following week for another a final interview for another role, let us know so we can push that timeline forward. So just be open and honest with your hiring manager and recruiter. It's all for a good cause. And remember, it's the less pressure, stress and guilt you'll feel. You'll inevitably have to reject one of multiple offers, right? This is going to yeah. be easier for you. Sharon, I think I've said all I need to say. Why don't you finish us off? Sure. And look, it's been a great conversation and, and hopefully this has been um, of some use to you. Uh, if you have any questions, please visit our website, beaumontpeople.com.au. Um, and we look forward to talking to you. Thanks, Diana.